Fortunately, we've been uh, having issues uh, getting pregnant due to my uh, cancer diagnosis. And uh, as a result of going through chemo, uh, my reproductive system was um, nearly destroyed. And our chances of getting pregnant naturally are um, pretty much eliminated. So we need IVF uh, treatment in order to become parents. I was told about the diagnosis a couple weeks before my 30th birthday. Having heard that diagnosis pretty much put everything on stop. Before I went through chemo treatment, we had to have an emergency um, egg preservation. And uh, we went through a different facility, not this one, uh, that unfortunately did not do a very good job with preserving the eggs that I had. So we had to look for another option. And this is when we found Michigan Reproductive Medicine and Dr. Marcel Bark. Dr. Marcel Bark is so personable, so friendly. I loved him from the moment I met him. He is amazing, lovable, caring, and very knowledgeable at what he's doing. Everybody here was so accommodating and so friendly. And you know, they, they took all the stress and hassle out of it. I remember giving him a hug and him telling me, we'll do everything that we can so uh, we can make sure everything is okay and you guys become parents. And I just felt that he really meant it. You know, staying positive and never letting it, the negativity take over really helped get us through all of this and not just, you know, the IVF part, but also the cancer diagnosis and, you know, everything else that comes along with it. The reason why I got sick at such a young age was uh, because my mom uh, actually has a BRCA1 gene mutation, which is the primary cause for breast cancer and ovarian cancer in uh, women. So of course, there's a 50% chance we can pass it on to our children as well. So it was very important for us to have genetic screening on the embryos that we have to make sure we don't do that. The three embryos that I was referring to, they're all uh, unaffected by the BRCA1 uh, gene. They have normal chromosomes, uh, all 46 are there, so, mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's uh, the most exciting news. <laughs> In August, I'm going to be two year cancer free, which is fantastic. So we're gonna have a little celebration. Mm -hmm. We currently have a total of three uh, euploid embryos that are good and healthy, and they're waiting for home. <laughs> we're definitely thinking in the near future, in the next one year, to uh, hopefully have a transfer and uh, like I said, become a family. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All I can say is that Regardless of what life is going to throw at us next, we've been through so much, I think we'll be able to handle uh, whatever it has in store for us. There's always light at the end of the tunnel, and we're almost there, so. Things are looking up so much more for us that we know there's, there is hope, not just for us, but for other couples out there, and that's why it was important for us to come today and uh, tell, tell that, share this with, with other couples as well.